those days we were young and had nothing to do I used to pick you up and drive to a place we could talk for hours mm. Sometimes we'd run out of words to say but we didn't mind Cause we could play on the ground and just stare into each other's eyes Good morning, a very different start to the vlog this and week um, Because Charlie and I and my mum are skiing I'm a bit puffy faced, I feel like I haven't properly woken up yet this morning It's quite early because we wanted to make the most of our four days here And get lots of skiing in Charlie and I have, well, I've not been skiing in about seven years My mum's not been skiing in four years And Charlie has not skied since he was 12 So we're getting an instructor this morning um, I'm really looking forward to getting back on the slope but it has been a long time. I used to be quite good, so hopefully I will pick it up again. Everyone says it's a bit like riding a bike, so fingers crossed that will be the case. But I thought I would vlog the week as usual, show you what we're doing, what I'm wearing. So let me tell you about yesterday. So we arrived yesterday, which was Sunday, and um, we got picked up from Salzburg Airport. A really quick flight, an hour and a half from Gatwick. We got picked up in a very futuristic car. It was an electric Tesla, and it drove us all the way up to Forster Farm which is the name of the hotel that we're staying at, um, which is in a town or near a town called Leogang, which is up in the Austrian mountains. The whole hotel is very eco-conscious. The room, for example, doesn't have any metal or glue in it, so it's really good for allowing you to sleep well, breathe well, etc. Um, and location-wise, behind me here, is literally the ski slope. So very much ski in, ski out. So we're meeting our instructor at 9.45. Um, I'm dressed head to toe in my ski gear already, sweaty betty thermals, and my very slimming, I think, ski trousers. These are from a brand called Dare To Be. I'll show you the full outfit of the day later. So we're gonna head down for breakfast now. I will see you later. <laughs> Okay, so we've been skiing with our instructor for about an hour now. Mum and Flo are just coming up behind. He's just teaching us lots of technique bits, which is really good. Here she comes. Yay! Looking yeah. good. Very good, yeah. Excuse the crazy lighting. I thought I'd give you a very quick outfit of the evening. Lala has done her hair like they did it during our blow dry. Doesn't it look fabulous? Okay. Gorgeous. Very good. And what are you wearing tonight, Lilla? I'm wearing, um, I can't remember, Skahoff. Beautiful. Um, and then I'm wearing Phase 8. Like uh, a grey polka dot. Phase, phase 8. Very nice. No, the scarf, I think the, the scarf could be coast. Do you know, I think the scarf is Austin Reed. Ew. Yeah. Austin Reed. <laughs> no, it's rather lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So Phase 8 um, jumper with basin trick. Gorgeous. And an Italian stretch. Italian sparkly bottom. Lovely. Sparky bottom. Sparky Very good. Bottom. And um, Marks and Spencer suede blue shoes with a decent heel for me. Gorgeous. And um, a little nylon sweater with back bag that you It's Mark Jacobs, isn't it? I mean, I mean Mark Jacobs. <laughs> um, but I can put it on my shoulder. Gorgeous. Very good. And um, Nina Ritchie? Uh, no, Gucci, I think. Gucci oh. glasses. Very stylish. I'll show you my outfit of the evening in the mirror. The lighting is rather cray cray. Um, so it's obviously a few hours later since we were skiing. I actually didn't bring many clothes with me. It was all full of ski gear in my suitcase. But this is my Club Monaco cashmere jumper. Just tied my hair in a loose ponytail. Um, my fabulous JW Anderson Pierce bag, which I got just for this holiday in the sale. And then these are my River Island trousers. And actually, I've stolen mum's shoes. These are the Gucci dupes from Ego. Yeah. Normally, let's go for dinner. Right, should we see? This is my, this is my 30 seconds destruction of dessert. Do it. Start counting. Get off. Get off. No. No. Oi. Off and zibbogen.
Good morning, it is Tuesday and today we woke up to a little bit of a whiteout. The clouds were all the way down on the slopes behind me. Um, couldn't really see your hand out in front of you so we decided not to head out skiing first thing, although typically the clouds are lifting now and we're seeing some blue skies. But mum and I are booked in for some massages this morning, which I'm very much looking forward to. The owner last night was showing us around and he said that 80 to 85% of the food they serve here is organic and regionally sourced. And then similarly in the spa, the oils that they'll be using on us this morning are made from local, locally collected mountain herbs and they smell absolutely divine. So we're gonna head up to the spa now. So I will uh, see you after our treatments. So we're all togged up after our massages, which were lovely, very simple, nothing too snazzy, just a good old massage homemade using stuff, their right? homemade oils, which is really mm -hmm. lovely. Um, as you might be able to guess, we're now in a cable car and we are heading up to, I'm not sure what the actual place is called, um, but we're heading up somewhere high and we're gonna get some nice luncheon. I think now would be a good time to show you my ski outfit. So I've got my helmet on, of course, we're going to safety acid. first. Um, and then I've got my Kate Spade sunglasses. I do have goggles in my little bag as well. Everyone on Instagram yesterday was like, Josie, only you would ski with a Gucci bag, but I think it completes the outfit perfectly. <laughs> got my goggles in there. Um, got my Burberry scarf as well. Last time I went skiing, I was probably about 17, 18. Yeah, I don't think I had much, much more sophisticated fashion sense then. Um, and then my jacket, which I love, it's got this kind of like stretchy detail, it's very flattering. It's a brand called Dare To Be, as are my trow trows. And they're also very slim fit, so very flattering ski gear, very warm. So far, I am a big fan. This is the only time you'll see me dressed head to toe in black. Um, yeah, and then I've got my little, my chevron bag, which I love. And my ski gloves, I've had these for many years. They're a brand called Rouge. Um, and that's about it really. I've got my sweaty Betty thermals on underneath, which again, I love. So yes, let's um, have a look at Charlie's snazzy ski outfit. Brilliant. What are you wearing, darling? <clears throat> what am I wearing? These, this is Hunter. Uh, this is a really cool independent brand called Van Loon Sport. Mm -hmm. Nice roll neck. I'm almost too toasty though. Yeah. And then this, these are super dry. Nice. I really like the jacket. Yeah, the jacket. I actually want to wear this every day. Yeah, like, you back should. In, well, it's sort of a bit late now. Dog walking. And what about you, Lila? Oh, goodness gracious. Um, I haven't got a clue what the jacket is. It's so old. It's an Italian brand. I don't know. I don't know. And no. my trousers, my cellophets are Tonini, again um, an Italian brand, and helmet, helmet. and then um, day glow boots. <laughs> they are very bright. Just in case I get lost head first in the snow. <laughs> Specifically, you put Lala in neon boots and Charlie in a neon jacket, just in case we lose them. This is Charlie's first time on skis since he was about twelve. Because yesterday, think it was twelve, yeah, twelve. Yeah. Exactly. Yesterday's so, knee was hurting too much. Fifteen. Years. We're trying to teach Whoa. him how to stop first. Yeah, I think I've got a career at the Olympics waiting. <laughs> <Olympics. laughs> yeah, seriously, I reckon. You're going to outshine Eddie Eagle. That's I reckon I'll set some speed records, but they'll be <laughs> ended with wipeouts. <laughs> Charlie's in the orange, not that guy that's clearly really good. I have a feeling, oh, he's down, he's down! <laughs> that heap on the floor there is our Charlie Irons. Come on, darling. You can do it, Char! Stand up a bit more straight, Char. You okay? Control. Don't crash into me. Woo! You're a pro! Yay. Here's the last show, and that's how it's done. Thanks, Rachel. That was nice. Up you go, Lola. And my costume like this, taking the 
finished skiing for the day. Doing the last run down, I'm just waiting for Char and Lilla. I think Char's getting a little bit of, um, a little bit impatient, but he's doing well. Here they come. Hello. Très bien. Mm. Here's Charles. Because he's spun round on himself. Yeah. Well done, darling. Back at the hotel now after a full day of skiing, feeling quite exhausted. Think I might head up for a bath shortly. Um, but I just want to show you how beautiful our current view is. There's nobody on the slopes at the moment because the lift's shut at five and it's about quarter past. So it's just all very peaceful. Look at this. It's very cozy. Pressure on your skis and for the next turn up your heel. Wait it, hello. Hi. Wait it for the fall, man. You come out the mess. But the truth has not been told. There's every corner. Yeah, up. Keep your upper body quiet. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> morning it is wednesday it's our final day skiing today and we have got the most perfect day blue skies look at that it's a little bit slushy down here because we're quite far down we've just skied from the highest point in the leo gang ski area um, and we're nearly at the bottom where the cable car is so we're going to head back up to the top but look how beautiful this slope is all through the trees i'd better go and meet mom and uh, florian our instructor Otherwise, I'll be getting on the lift without me. Look at this ski score in front of me. It's so cute. I'm going to go and join in. I'm going to catch you up. Sometimes light is breaking through. But my blinded eyes can't reveal. Trust it being real. Not, 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 not so 